uh, Coach Jared with the Daily News um, here. You know, obviously you guys played this team three times in a row now. Uh, not the result that you guys wanted, but tonight you guys take it to overtime. You know, the way that the season ended, losses in, I believe, six of the last seven games heading into this. You know, it was up and down season all along, but the team continued to fight, never gave up at any point. You know, I guess just how proud of you are you of their efforts, you know, not just tonight, but throughout the entire season. No, I, I, I mean, Jared, you're exactly right. Like all season, we've been in a bunch of close ball games, not just down the stretch. We were in close ball games throughout the season. Even, even some of the games that weren't close in the end uh, were close in the fourth quarter or the third quarter, and then we just would make mistakes. And we've gotten better and, and managing some of those, but uh, I'm really proud of the resiliency and how they keep fighting. Uh, there's a lot of times that t- these kids just had to dig in. Uh, we just, again, tonight, like we, we were in control, and then we – miss a layup and make a turnover and get up at the jump ball. And so we, we do things uh, still, uh, but, but the positive side is tonight we made free throws, uh, made some big shots. Uh, we executed better. Uh, defensively, we were doing okay. We kept losing some three-point shooters, and that credit goes to ODU. They made uh, some shots that they don't normally make, uh, but that's, that's what you do in tournament time. You got to step up. And uh, I'm real proud of how our girls kept fighting all season long. Hey, Coach. Drew Tennis with the College Heights Herald. So how would you just assess this game and just going in overtime, how you play compared to just at the end of regulation? Well, I, I think, Drew, it kind of went how the rebounds went. I didn't get to see a final box, uh, but we, when we were keeping track of when we knew what was going on with rebounds, it felt like early on they were out rebounding us. We kind of shifted that tide and we got more uh, committed to boxing out. And then we started out rebounding. And that's when we took control of the game. And um, I went there towards uh, the end of the game, they had uh, – six straight points off of second chance opportunities off offensive rebounds. And that, once again, that, that kills us. And, uh, but even with all those things, it still came down to us taking care of the ball, finishing some plays, making some layups and taking care of the ball and just kind of getting out of there uh, with a win. And that's kind of uh, for different reasons, you know, that that's similar to the rice game. That's similar to, you can name a bunch of games where we've been in a position and, and we've just kind of uh, made some, some plays that maybe some inexperience That's where it shows. But, uh, Proud of how they've grown. Um, you know, Hope Savori is, is content. Congratulations to her on being uh, uh, co-freshman of the year and uh, not really being the point guard for a high school team and coming in here and continuing to grow and grow each game and, and, and in confidence. And so, uh, you know, all the kids have gotten better. We just, uh, we still got some work to do. Coach, this is Hunter Smith of WBK. But, you know, what, what did you tell your team after just such a tough loss like this? Yeah, it was kind of what we were talking about with, with Jared Hunter. We talked about I was proud of how hard they fought. Didn't find any uh, – can't really have any complaints about their effort. Uh, they were trying to execute the game plan. It just comes down to execution. And, and sometimes, uh, you know, we just – we're our own worst enemy sometimes in that area. So I told them we really, really have to use that for fuel, use that for momentum uh, into the offseason as a reason to keep you working hard to improve your shooting, to improve your ball handling, to, to get stronger and faster. And so I uh, uh, was proud of how they played. It's not the result that we wanted, obviously, in, in a bunch of these games, uh, but it can be momentum uh, for your offseason. It can give you a lot of energy uh, to get in the gym and, and in the weight room and continue to get better and, and look forward to next season. Coach Drew Tennis of the College Heights Herald, who are some players to look out for uh, coming next season? I mean, returners? Or what, what, what exactly? Do I mean, you mean? Uh, just players who are coming back uh, this upcoming season. Well, I think, you know, you saw, I mean, Hope and Alec, how that played pretty well tonight. I think they, you know, there's some things that they can still work on to get better. Uh, you know, I think Renine, uh, as, as well as Renine played tonight, uh, we needed to play like that kind of every night, and, uh, and she can. And so there's things that, uh, that I know that Renine's going to work on in the offseason. And, and so, you know, right. We already have some goals in mind for, for each kid, each player. And, uh, you know, I felt like Torrey Hunter gave us some good minutes down the stretch uh, the last two or three games. And so there's things that, that uh, we're going to address and work on with Torrey Hunter and Selma Kulo. And so they can continue to grow and, and give us more. We need more bench play. Um, and so there's, there's a, you know, the growth process never stops. Uh, you you want to win, you want to win a championship. Uh, but the most important thing is to keep on growing and getting better. And so that's what we're, uh, that's what we're going to have to shift our focus to. And uh, I think there's a bunch of young ladies that will be back in the gym soon uh, getting back after it. Uh, Coach Jared with the Daily News. I know you just said Raneem uh, working on things in the offseason. Does that mean she is coming back next year? 
Well, I know that's that's her desire. That's her wish. And so we're hopeful that uh, that her father's health allows her to continue to do that. Um, that's obviously you know, your family's a priority. That's the most important thing. But uh, I know she's happy here. I know she wants to play. She wants. She has other uh, goals that she wants to achieve. Uh, I know she was as distraught after the game as as uh, any young lady in that locker room. And so uh, I know she wants to compete for a championship. And so uh, uh, and 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 she knows that she can get better by being here. And so that's what that's our that's our goal. That's our hope. And, you know, to kind of follow up with that, Patu would be the only other one that would normally be gone after this year. Do you know if she has any decision made? No, we've not made any decisions there as well. I know Fatu, uh, you know, she wasn't able to return home. She's not been home for over a year. And so I know she wants to be able to get back to Senegal. Uh, and so we'll, we'll sit down and talk more about that. We've, we've discussed it briefly with everyone, uh, but that wasn't the focus of the season. It wasn't. We were focused on uh, getting better as a team, getting better as individuals, and winning ball games. And so, uh, now that the, the season's over, now we'll we'll shift uh, shift our gears and, and we'll start talking a little bit more about what's next. Um, kind of shifting gears back to the game. I know entering this one with the limited postseason experience, you said Reneem and Merrill would be huge for you guys early. Time to rely on them. Uh, Reneem, I believe, had ten and six at half. Merrill nine and five. You know, how much did you see that playing out? And you know kind of giving you guys a boost early on. Well, and, and not just in, uh, not just, just in the numbers. Like every time we had a timeout, uh, Miru was the one that was really encouraging the other players and telling them what they had to do. And, and so, uh, you know, we were leaning on on those two and, and really leaned on Raneem the entire game. And, uh, and, and there, was, there were moments where Hopes of Ori stepped up. There were moments where Ali Collett made some big shots and, and almost came up with some big steals. Uh, but I like that aggressiveness that she was starting to show. It's something I've been trying to uh, encourage her to do more of. And so, uh, you know, as, as like I said, as the game got started, as it got going on, uh, Hope settled in. She was fine. And she played in state championship games. Allie Collett was fine. They settled in. Uh, so, you know, I, I think that uh, once you kind of get on that stage and kind of realize that, hey, the court's still the same size, the goal's still in the same place, then you just play. And, uh, and that's what we did. And uh, we just needed to make a few more positive plays. You know, this question might be a little bit better a few days from now with the chance to digest a little bit more. But, you know, looking back on the season as a whole, Todd always says it's been a year unlike any other. Um, you know, how are you going to remember this season? I'll remember the, the, the players and the resiliency. Uh, they never missed a beat when we would lose a game and I'm scrambling around trying to get a game. And then we're, we're, we're thinking we're going to play one team and then we're Next day, we're on the bus to go to Tennessee and play Tennessee Tech. They never missed a beat. They, they kept giving great effort. Uh, you know, a more experienced team would be more uh, prepared or ready for that. But, uh, you know, this team, they, they didn't bat an eye. They just kept kept grinding and kept swimming forward. And, and that was the goal, uh, was to, to be playing your best uh, at the end of the season. And I feel like that, that we were playing – we're not playing well enough to win a championship, obviously. Uh, but I feel like we're – way different team than we were just a month ago. This team is not even the same team that played uh, at Rice. This is certainly not the same team that started conference play. And so uh, they continue to show that kind of growth and development throughout the course of the season. And, and, and that's, that's probably the most encouraging part about the season, that and the resiliency. All right, thanks guys. Thanks guys.